New at five, Florida identities used in a scheme to steal unemployment benefits from at least half a dozen states. The victims all have one thing in common. They never applied for benefits. News 6 investigator Mike Hofeld has been investigating this story. He joins us now with more, Mike. Thanks, Lisa, and good evening. News 6 has uncovered a wild development in this unemployment benefit scheme. Thousands of dollars in benefits deposited in a widow's bank account from at least four states. This investigation started, remember, when Florida residents started receiving unemployment approvals from Massachusetts. Well, guess what? Another victim has just come forward. This happened to me when I was in Florida before, too. Someone stole my identity. Back then, she says, the damage was a hacked credit card tracked to New York City. But Cheryl Poirier's story is much different this time. So this thing came out of the blue, huh? I, I was shocked, completely shocked. She just moved to the Orlando area in June, working remotely for Massachusetts-based Aura Andrews Insurance Company. On June 30th, an email from the home office just didn't make sense. Did you apply for unemployment benefits? I'm mad. I can't believe, I can't believe that people would even do this. She's not alone. News 6 has now tracked four Florida identity theft victims, imposters using their information to tap unemployment benefits from Massachusetts. And still another Florida resident received this from the state of Pennsylvania. But there's something else. This wasn't checking, it was savings. A new, more elaborate scheme. I went in there and I said, this isn't mine. He said, are you sure? I said, yes. Amanda Standish tells News 6 her bank accounts were flush with thousands of dollars in unemployment benefits, 8,500 from the state of Arizona, and a few days later, more than $10,000 in benefits from Virginia and Ohio. I've never lived there. I've never filed for unemployment in my life. She lives on Social Security. That wasn't her money. And I said, there's a fraud going around and they're targeting me. Those accounts have been locked and closed. They said, we don't want your business anymore, you're a liability. Now she's opened a third account with another bank. I cry all the time. I mean, I'm a nervous wreck. I still don't have my stimulus check. Probably somebody stole that too. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I have, I have nowhere else to go. Now we've been trying to sort this out. Police believe hackers may have been tracking her accounts through her phone. As a precaution, her SIM card and number have now been changed. Listen, if you think your name is being used to apply for benefits illegally or you have another unemployment issue, email us, makeendsmeet at WKMG.com.